in uh, continuation of the Lord's Supper, we, uh, we want to uh, remember what Jesus accomplished for us by giving up his own life uh, through his death on the cross. And uh, we see a little bit of uh, what the Hebrews writer, of course, was uh, one of uh, a man of encouragement uh, to those that were suffering back in the first century. And uh, we can see a little bit about that in uh, Hebrews chapter 12. And it all reflects back on Jesus Christ, what he accomplished for us, each one of us. He says, uh, therefore, since we have, that's starting uh, verse 1 of Hebrews 12. He says, therefore, since we have uh, so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, and that's referring back to Hebrews 11, uh, the hall of faith, uh, those uh, of the past believers. He says, uh, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so you may not grow weary and lose heart. Uh, verse 4, he says, You have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood in your striving against sin. And of course, Jesus never sinned, but yet he was willing to give up his life here on this earth for a good reason, the joy that was set before him. He understood that through his ultimate giving up of his life there on the cross by the Father's will, as he approached the Father three times concerning, if possible, uh, remove this cup from me, but not my will, but thy will be done. We see it was the Father's will that he was the ultimate sacrifice for uh, the sins of the whole world. Now, you and I, uh, had an opportunity to hear that gospel message the, about the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's how God called us out of this dark world. Uh, we understood our need. We were all sinners. We all need the forgiveness that comes uh, through Christ and that shed blood. And as we're about to partake of this uh, cup, we understand that this represents uh, the blood of Christ. In Matthew chapter uh, 26, he's going along after uh, the bread that uh, Daryl had been, made mention of earlier uh, about the Lord's Supper. In verse 27, it says, And he took a cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, uh, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is to be shed on behalf of many for the forgiveness of, of sins. And to... To show uh, the connection also in Revelation, uh, he, uh, how it makes us all uh, united in Jesus. Uh, Revelation chapter 1, uh, starting with verse 5, it says, And from Jesus Christ, the, the faithful witness and the firstborn of the dead and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and released us from our sins by his own blood. He says, and he has made us to be a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, uh, to him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Again, that uh, joy that Jesus could see beyond the, the cross, uh, the suffering it was so, and shame that was associated with the cross, but he could see beyond that in bringing many sons and daughters uh, into a right relationship with his, his father, uh, whom uh, he allowed to uh, be sacrificed on our behalf, as, even as sinners. And we know the grace of God that comes through the death of Christ. Uh, those of us who obeyed that gospel, uh, that's how God calls us out of the dark world, and he chooses us. Uh, we're chosen then in Christ. Uh, those of us who have been buried with Christ in that watery grave of baptism. Let us pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, as we turn to you, we do thank you for your willingness to send your son to this earth of darkness. And we, in the, the Bible class, we understand all the uh, surrounding uh, events that took place, uh, the suffering of some uh, that 
lost their their male uh, their their sons, and uh, their uh, some of the persecution and trial that uh, even Mary and Joseph undertook underwent uh, when they uh, brought Jesus into this world. At least uh, as far as Mary goes, uh, we know that uh, she is the mother of Christ, and you are His Father, and we do. Thank you that Jesus is, was with you from all eternity, but uh, this physical birth that uh, he experienced was uh, on our, for our behalf so that he would be the one that take away the sins of the world. And Father, we just thank you for uh, that message of the gospel that you allowed us to hear and for our hearts to be challenged, uh, to recognize the saving grace through Jesus Christ and especially his shed blood. And uh, we thank you, Father, as we are about to partake of this cup, which uh, represents his shed blood. Uh, we pray, Father, we'll partake of it in a manner that is truly worthy of his sacrifice. Be with us, Father, and help us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.